29-year-old Tara Daniels is no stranger to cancer. I was diagnosed for the first time with a pre-B cell acute lymphoblastic leukemia, ALL, um, when I was 16. After multiple treatments and multiple remissions, Tara was told her only option was a bone marrow transplant. But bone marrow transplants bring with them the risk of a serious complication called graft versus host disease or GVHD. That's when the donor T cells are rejected by the recipient and end up attacking the recipient cells. Tara was enrolled in a clinical trial that tested a drug called abatacept. What we did in our trial is to try to determine if abatacept could also improve outcomes for transplant patients by preventing graft versus host disease. And what the trial showed is indeed it was able to do that, resulting in significantly improved survival for these patients. Dr. Leslie Keene at the Dana-Farber Boston Children's Cancer and Blood Disorder Center led the trial. And based on that trial, abatacept was just approved by the Food and Drug Administration for use in this setting. Dr. Keene says the more mismatched a recipient is to a donor, the greater the risk of GVHD. And historically, it's much harder for non-white people to find a close match. But she says this study shows by adding abatacept, non-white patients with mismatched donors are considerably more likely to have a successful bone marrow transplant. This could effectively level the playing field for non-white transplant patients requiring those mismatched transplants by improving their survival after transplant as well. As for Tara, she actually doesn't know if she received abatacept or placebo because the trial was blinded. But she does know it's been five years since her transplant and she remains in remission. She eventually met her donor, who told her they were inspired to become a donor after a close friend couldn't find a match. Tara says she is thankful every day for the science and the studies that have given new options to patients like her. If the research hadn't been done on transplants or other similar drugs, I wouldn't be alive today.